Hello, my lovelies. It is absolutely amazing to see you today. Come on in and have a seat. Welcome to Cape Bonnie Country, and I am your host, Cape Bonnie. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today, I am unpacking my Dragon Touch Vision 3 action camera. Now, this is not a top-of-the-line camera, but depending on which review you watch, it's either the number two or the number three budget action camera on the market right now. This is not a complete unboxing and review video. I intend to use it today while I give Tamir her spring trim. It came with two batteries and all the accessories I could possibly need to attach it to helmets, handlebars, or whatever else I want to attach it to. However, it did not come with a headband or a chest rig, so I will be purchasing those separately. Okay. As you can see from all the fluff in the yard, I actually tried to do this once already, and I got most of the job done. However, I had the camera attached to my head, and I was shooting over Tamir's back, so you could not see what I was doing. So with the job mostly done, I gave Tamir a break, went inside, and rigged the camera in a manner that it's actually strapped around my neck. Now I am not shaving Tamir to the skin, as doing so will destroy the undercoat and it will grow in as a matted mess. We don't want that. So by running the clippers, in the same direction as her fur grows, I'm essentially thinning it and trimming it. I am not shaving it off. Note that I am using the longest guard available for the clippers. Huskies are not known to be patient animals, and Tamir behaved so well for me especially considering she'd already been through this once today. Good girl. Good girl. Okay. Will you let me brush it out now? <sighs> With summer temperatures in Alabama, I will have to repeat this trim once a month, April through August. No, ma'am. Stop it. Tamir truly hates being brushed because most of the time it pulls her fur. No, ma'am. Stop. No, ma'am. Stop. You are okay. Hey, shh. stop. You're fine. You're fine, girl. Come here. Honey, you're fine. You'll be a good girl. 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 Yes, I have to. I know it for. Hey. <laughs> I got your belly. I got your belly. Okay. Go on. I think we got the point across. Hi, Zoho. Hi, baby. Yes, you're looking at the camera. Are you looking at the camera? Yes, you are. You're sniffing at the camera. You are. You're sniffing at the camera. No, don't eat the camera. Don't eat the camera. Don't eat the camera. Since Tamir was completely done, I decided to test the camera further and let the other dogs out to play. I must learn that my eyes see more than the camera does. Apologies for missing some of the dog action. Y'all are tangled up. Y'all are tangled up together. Thank you. You're gonna give me rope, bro. You're gonna give me rope, bro. Even though this isn't a product review video, I do think I need to tell you a little about the camera. 
This is a Dragon Touch Vision 3 camera. As I unpacked it, the plastic body felt a little fragile to me. So I will be storing it in its waterproof casing. I had to download an instruction manual from a QR code inside the box. And after about 30 minutes of continuous operation, the battery did start to feel hot against my neck. Since it uses a lithium-ion battery, I will not leave the battery in the camera when it is turned off. It did come with a waterproof case and a remote control. However, the remote control is only splash-proof. Overall, I am happy with the recording quality and a reasonable price of $55 from the manufacturer's website. Thanks for stopping by, and I hope you will join me next time.